So um, we're live. This is our first time meeting in person. But of course, I've seen the pictures and everything. And I'm so happy to have you on in your own words and your own feelings. Um, let's start off with the big one. Okay. <laughs> Marcus Jordan. Uh, the dating rumors started in September. At the time, you said you guys were just friends. And then it was revealed when you said on Valentine's Day that he was your forever Valentine. Are you guys in love? Um, I think so. We're, we're in a really good place. Yeah. How do you I describe like, it? I feel like a lot of people think that we've known each other our whole lives, which we have well, not. Well, he's 16 years younger, so that's yes. not possible. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like we, we literally just met at a party um, four years ago. Oh, really? And we were just friends. Because we, we all lived in Chicago. And yeah. When did you meet him? Four years ago. Four years at where? A party. Then? At a party, I, like an LA party. Did you know we, who he was at the time? Well, yeah, we, we have a lot of mutual friends. And so we're kind of in the same circle. So we've been around each other for like the last four years. So you're at a party and did someone introduce you? How did you connect? Yeah, we were um, at a party and they were like, oh, you know, Marcus, Marcus Jordan. And I was like, oh, hey. And so we became friends. We both kind of grew up from, you know, we're both from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we have a lot in common, like a lot of common ground, you know, like. Even with the age difference. And I don't say that, I don't yeah. want to say it flippantly because age difference, men get, yeah. you know, able to date people 30 years younger in some cases without judgment. He's 16 years younger. Other than the bulls, like, what do you have in common? We have everything in common. Really? Well, I don't, I've dated guys that were a lot older than me. Scotty is 10 years older than me. Scotty's 10 years older than me. Yeah, you. so I don't really view age as, you know, you're mature, yeah. you're not yeah, immature. I, agree. I don't, I, agree. I don't feel like that determines if you're mature or not. Well, I, I feel like if you can go, if you can drink at 21, <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can go to war at 18. Like, you know, there's different circumstances that I feel like age doesn't really um, determine your level of maturity. I think the age for most people, if we're being honest, that's secondary. The bigger thing is where you are a beautiful woman. Thank you. And you could date anybody you wanted to date. Okay. Um, why would you date Michael Jordan's son knowing that it's been pretty clear mm -hmm. that Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan didn't have this relationship people thought and certainly don't have it now. Mm -hmm. Scottie has come out publicly and said that this documentary that was produced by Michael Jordan mm -hmm. uh, made him, he says, I was nothing more than a prop. His best teammate of all time, he called me. He couldn't have been more condescending if he tried. You know, that's, you know, I can't, I can't basically explain how someone else feels. That's how Scotty feels. He's, he has a right to the way he yeah. feels. Yeah. I personally don't really care about what, you know, other people, how he, you know, I feel like I live my truth. I'm happy. I feel like we get along. He's my best friend. And so Marcus I, is your best friend. Yeah, I feel yeah. like we have a lot in common. But as I was saying, you friend. could date anybody in the world. But Why you know, date Michael Jordan's it, son? I didn't plan it like that. It wasn't like it was planned like that. I think we were just together a lot with our friends, and it just so happened. It wasn't like something I like planned. You got to remember, like I feel like for me being, you know, married to someone that was an athlete or whatever, it's really hard. You get scrutinized yeah. a lot. People don't think you should have a life once you get divorced. Yeah. They think you're once you're divorced, you're like done. And I feel like I've overcome so many different obstacles because I feel like I should have love. I should be able to date who I want. I should be able to like, you know, like live happy and go, you know, just go wherever I want to go and not be judged every time I'm seen with and someone. And you should, you should. I'm curious because when you start dating someone. It's hard. Not, it is hard. It's also hard meeting their parents. Have you met Michael Jordan and Juanita Jordan, and what did they say about the relationship? You know, I don't really, I mean, of course, I recently have met, you know, I've recently been hanging out with them, um, but I don't really want to talk about them. I feel like it's not about, you know, my parents or his parents, they're all happy, our whole family's fine. I feel like it's more about like where I am, where he is. You know, I feel like we're in a great place. We motivate each other. We're really happy being together. And I feel like that's the most important thing. Well, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I, I, and I understand what you're saying because you are your own people. That said, he has a trophy store dedicated to his father. It's like a sneaker you posted, head. Yeah, sneaker, <laughs> yeah. But you guys posted a picture with the number 23 behind you. Mm -hmm. There's only one number 23. Right. You know, um, God bless, he walks around with those great Jordan shoes. Yeah. That's his dad on there. Mm -hmm. So he can't run from who he is. Right. And when I married my husband, he met my mom. My dad is in heaven, but he met my mom before we got 
into a full relationship. Mm -hmm. It's normal for people to ask, how did his mom respond? How did his They're dad fine, respond? everyone's fine. They're I, cool with it. Yeah, everyone, I think like, when you're an adult, I think your parents just wanna see you happy. You know, my parents wanna see me happy, his parents wanna see him happy. So you have their blessing. Yeah, I feel like we're great, yeah. I feel like we've, you know, we've spent holidays together and it's good. We're in a great place.